Sunday and I got my holy pants on. Oh. So stoked to interview Ruben. My clothes are about to get dirty. Dirt, 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 dirty. You'll find out why. Okay, I have to warn you, I'm not the best painter. It's okay, you're gonna do the whole thing, I'm just gonna watch. I'm ready. Um, I've been practicing on my canvases you know, at home. You have an expert guide. It's gonna walk you through the You're really just gonna talk me through it? No. Okay, good. This was me. We're all mirrors of each other. So I'm telling myself, you belong here as an artist. But someone else, you belong here could mean you belong here doing what you're doing. Yeah. Or someone else says, hey, thank you. I didn't kill myself today, Ruben, because of your art. And you're right, I do belong here. So like, you get a whole gamut of, of stuff that yeah. happens. Safety first. Okay. Okay. No Star Wars. I am your mom. <laughs> I am gonna put you to work. Okay, good. I'm ready. I'm ready to work. Financial advising. So what what like drew you to that in the first place? Someone said you should try financial advising. <laughs> <laughs> and then a buddy of mine said, hey, you gotta try out loans, real estate. And then it was 19 grand and 20 grand and 30 grand and 50 grand and one million dollars. But then 2008 happened and I lost everything. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. At one point, I finally said, you know what, Ruben? You've been abundant your whole life. You've known how to make money your whole life. Mm -hmm. You've been a hustler your whole life. Why is this money conversation even a conversation you're having? Yeah. And I just said, fuck it. And I stopped going to the office one day. How to be a street artist stencil workshop. 101, here we go. And then we'll stick it back on and paint the white part. I never gave art a chance to do what it could have done. So I was living in this mediocre place. I call it Mediocreville, which is literally worse than, I'd rather just be failing all day yeah. than living in mediocrity, because it's like depressed death. You have to be realistic. You can't be, you know what? I've never made money as an artist. Let me go be an artist, quit my job and like, no. But how do you have the time if you're working all day? Well, then you have to be strategic. Okay. How do you empower yourself to find the right job that's going to give you just what you need to survive, but allow you to have the hours in the day or the evening to do what you're trying to build and love?
I say is my art's an invitation for you to view the world through the lens of love. Because we're surrounded by all this negativity. We're surrounded by advertising that says we need to get bigger boobs, we need to get a bigger butt, we need to freeze the fat, we need a big truck because you're not man enough. It's all this stuff, right? So yeah. everything's about escapism or that you're not enough and it keeps you in fear and scarcity. So yeah. it's like, well, if I have an opportunity to have a conversation with a wall and put something positive and maybe affect some change in someone's day, yeah. I get to do that one wall at a time. Wow. And ultimately, I just want to change people's hearts. So I think that's the purpose of my art. It's not just to look pretty. Yeah. We operate out of love, mm -hmm. or we operate out of fear. Everything else we make up. So all these things, and then your mindset can actually change. I'm not saying it's easy, right. it's a practice. But oh, yeah. still, at the end of the day, if you start believing that, you walk around with a little bit of more confidence. Fat, I'm ugly, I'm tired, I'm unworthy, I'm sick. I'm like, you say that enough, you're gonna become that? But why can't you say, you know what, I am worthy, and I am grateful, and I am enough, and I have enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a blast hanging out with Ruben. Always remember. You belong here. Heck yeah. See you next time on Shenanigans. Woo!